excuse me, excuse me. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Your boy's face is starting to clear up. You know, your boy's starting to look a little cute again. Beard looking nice and thick. Also, repping my new San Antonio Spurs slash Huncho Joshi jersey. Man, life is good. What's up, guys? It's your host, Huncho Joshi, and welcome back to another reaction time. A double reaction time. And as you can see from the title of this video, we're going to be reacting to Devontae the One getting jumped by a 6th grader feature, but true. And for the second video, we're going to be reacting to Who is Cody getting the Got Got 3000 animated story. So, I've done many, many, many reactions to Devontae the One. Matter of fact, I have a whole playlist full of reactions I've done in the past. They're insane. They're, <laughs> there's some stories in there. I'm like, what the? Who are you hanging out with? <laughs> some of these females are just down bad. And the people he hung out with, too, are just as bad. So, make sure you guys go check those out. And for who is Cody? Yo, yo, Cody, if you're watching this, that is the homie. For the past couple months, I've got to talk to him a little bit on Instagram. We've got to, we got to talk it up, you know? So, me and Cody become friends for about three, maybe four months now and yo this dude is cool as hell there's been times where i've been kind of like at a low point and this dude always comes with like the most inspirational things you know he'll tell me to keep grinding and uh to keep doing what i'm doing because i can make it to the top one day and i tell him the same things for him too because the animations he's done are pretty insane like this dude's gonna be a big youtuber in the next few months like i'm just gonna call it right now not gonna lie i've only seen two videos by him and the videos i did see are kind of old so i'm pretty curious to see how his animations make have changed and how his storytelling may have changed as well so yeah i'm excited to see both these videos because god just look at these titles getting jumped by sixth graders my god hopefully it worked out for you Devonte. uh <laughs> god damn <laughs> and then got got 3000 this is gonna be interesting so yeah enough of me rambling without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump straight in but then i remembered we live in the exact same apartment complex oh bruh i think i all right bro it's about to go down my most memorable I'm times like in school were on the bus yes the place where the impossible is possible it is the place Facts. where i got into my first few fights got introduced to drugs but i politely declined witnessed what true toxicity was and the list goes on now personally i always sat in the middle or the back of the bus because Man, i was always in the middle too something that the front all the crazy mind. shit fun times that's something you can't find in the front it's impossible because the further back you go the more toxic things get hell yeah needs more entertainment for everybody let me break it down for you. The bus is like a body of communities. Up front, you got the gated community, the people that usually follow all the rules, the goody I agree with that. They try not to upset the guard, which is the bus driver. They keep to themselves and they don't bother nobody. Right behind them, you got the middle, AKA the suburbs. In this section, you might have a little bit of the front. You might have a okay, little I'd bit Okay, I'd be like in the back where the middle was. <laughs> make up the middle. Now, like, I was in the middle, but I was technically still the in the back, you know. starts, but it's a controlled toxicity. Mostly because they're still not that far out of the driver's control. And lastly, we got the back of the bus, aka all the, the crazy shit bus. happened on those this is roads. Where all too. the ignorance happens. This section is usually made up of a bunch of immature little bastards that are rude, on, violent, and show on everything, man. On I swear, anybody. So didn't that make you a part of that group too? Hey, hey, hey! That's for me to know and them to find out. And that's why it was entertainment for me, because I can handle it. So if you couldn't handle the back or the middle of the bus back then, then just stay in the front. If you're from the yep. front and they catch you in the back and you can't physically or verbally defend yourself, that means you in the wrong hood, homie. Now, even though it was hell, yeah, a lot of fun times. Hell no, you on the wrong bus. That's that <laughs> that's the problem. Tiny bit too chaotic. So this story takes place back when I was in elementary school and I was riding the school bus home one day and as usual, me and the homies Yo, why he were sitting like that? <laughs> having fun. And I get into a row session with this one dude, let's replace his real name. We're gonna call him uh, Q. And we had been roasting each other for 20 minutes. So long to the point where oh, man. things got a little bit personal. Shut up, boy. I know you ain't talking. I'm really about to flame ya. How you 12 years old and already got hair on your face? You not 20. 
12, nigga. Damn, I feel attacked. Nigga, I low key had a mustache at like 13. <laughs> I can't tell Probably if you're 12. looking at me or the bus driver. Your left eye left to go get some milk and never came back. Hmm. It's Why is this 12 year old it? voice so damn Your deep? What the fuck? 12 years ago. He came back yet? Oh, okay. So that's where we're taking this. Bet. Yo, he. Dog, he meant personal, like personal. Jesus. <laughs> God damn, Devontae. Walks to the middle and talks to this one dude. We're going to replace his real name too. We're going to call him Taylor. And he is in stuff. Dating. And at first, I'm still thinking this is all a game. You know, we all having fun despite this man's facial expression changing. And at the time, I didn't know what he was doing. I didn't know what instigating was. Oh, so shit. They plot. Oh, my gosh. I didn't take him serious, nor did I take Taylor serious. All while Q was talking down on me and lying on me, talking about... Oh, I was talking about Taylor's mom and stuff like that. And I found out real quick that Taylor did not take That's that just something you don't do. You, you, to heart. you gotta leave parents mama. out of it I when it. you roast them. them. However, some people, when you talk about their mama, they let it slide as long as you don't touch their mama. Not all this people, dude, but some. You want to smoke regardless if you talked or touched, which, again, I don't blame him. And that led to me arguing with Taylor, trying to tell him that I wasn't talking about his mama. He didn't care. And this argument lasted for about two minutes. And like I said, during this entire thing i'm not taking taylor serious at all because oh I'm my god <laughs> but taylor on the other hand was not playing at all and as the argument's going he's still denying the fact that i didn't say anything about his mama so i'm Bruh. just like, you know what i did say something about your mama what you gonna do about it oh, he's just like He's, He's just sparking the flame even more, bro. Live in the same area that I live in, bro. So I'm good, right? I'm fine. I'm safe, right? But then I remembered, we live in the exact same, same complex apartment complex. Oh my gosh! And as soon as I thought of that, I got the picture <laughs> very His clear, face. and I really wanted to fight Q but i had to save my energy just in case he wasn't bluffing i ain't gonna lie if i had the chance i would have ran the ones with q and popped a zinzu bean out the words and got ready for taylor but unfortunately that was not the case because after that oh he sat right down in his chair i sat in my chair quietly shook it to the core 15 minutes later my bus pulls up to my bus stop we all get bruh up to get they're gonna wait for him to get off get too off the bus, i'm talking about the second i get off the bus taylor comes flying at me and the first thing that came to mind before he landed the hit was oh he wasn't bluffing and we get this oh my I'm oh about my gosh Ten minutes. There was this one dude driving by us talking about some. Stop! Stop! <laughs> we didn't stop. The dude goes to park his car, runs over to us, and breaks the fight up. And in my mind, I'm like, "Thank you. I didn't even want to be in this fight anyway. I didn't even <laughs> say anything about his baba. Like, I don't Yo, know." Yo, you I'm set yourself up for that, though. Myself, to be honest, Dash, I get the burners, bro. I go Bruh. back to the crib. I pull up to the house. I get in the house and I see my mom and I'm like, Ma, <laughs> I got in a fight. But she was like, you did? Did you win? Don't be capping now. Next reaction. And then she, um... <laughs> so, I like his avatar. Like yo, is that... Say yo yo, and I think that was Stanley Animations, if I'm not mistaken, or that's Stanley. Mainly because I'm gonna stop talking. I could be wrong. Whoa, 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 hold up! I know you're judging me, but let me explain because um, you would do it too. So one day we're in a hallway, we're talking about girls and high school stuff. Yo, why is she bad? He shows me his girlfriend, and I'm like, hell yeah, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Alexis, how old is she? Mm, 17. How'd y'all meet? I smashed her sister. Get... Wait, what? What'd you say? I smashed her sit. Her sister? Yes, bro. yes, bro. Yes. Like, bro, what? Like, how can you have any type of relationship with somebody that had a relationship with your sibling? Hell yeah. Like, took your sister to I mean, I've talked to a girl who had a cousin Justified. that I also That's talked to, but not no damn sister. Right, bro, well, I'm gonna tell you. So after school, I jump on Facebook and I end up finding her. So I slide Dude said Facebook. <laughs> I don't know from the jump. Bitch, I wanna fuck. You wanna fuck. I just wanna fuck. I just wanna fuck. I'll put your. Hey, yo, that's.
that's the mood for real. I'm just kidding, bro. Like you, you cannot tell a girl that from the jump unless she was a Tatiana. But being a thought back then was not cool. So good luck finding. Yeah, that's true. So one day we hang out, and after that day, we end up hanging out every day. Like we go on walks. I'm meeting her family. She's wearing my. Goddamn. It's like we're in a. <laughs> there goes Devonte. What the. <laughs> with you like girl did you forget I'll put your pussy, pussy. so after months and months okay of time, <laughs> we are pretty much doing the same thing kissing holding hands meeting her family she's wearing my hoodie and yeah that's N nothing changed until one day we was walking downtown and we decided to change things up so we took the bike trail and we're walking we're talking we're vibing man you know? it's about to go crazy like, hey, do you want to take this path and see where it goes she nods her head and we start walking and the path that we go down leads us to a river bay and that river oh that's kind of tough to talking about our dreams and passion our desire for the Bruh. world. She's looking at me. I'm looking at her. And then she um Ah shit. <laughs> so about two seconds later, bro notice a guy standing behind a tree and I'm like Bro, that's gotta be awkward as my heart starts beating. I'm like, bro, I'm not ready to go to jail. Like he knew me. Is. Like, what, like, bro, what, what even would that charge be? Like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I see a tent. <laughs> a homeless man watched me get the top. God like, damn. You know, uncomfortable. Not because he was homeless, but because somebody was watching me get the sloppy. Like, sir, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Give me that. But sir, give me that. Bro, I love that dude's TikToks. But he's more of a pervert because he's a grown man. On the other hand, I was kind of glad that he called us and not a family guy or a police. Hell yeah, you getting serious that trouble for that type of shit. What's up, everyone? If you made it through the video this far, I just want to say thank you and I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you want to support me and the channel more, I have a Patreon in the description below. Also, the link to his channel is in the description below. So is Devontae the One. Make sure you guys go subscribe to them. So that is the end of that and I hope you guys enjoyed these videos and man when I read the titles to these videos I was like bro I have to watch these videos and instead of doing two separate videos I decided to just do them both at the same time to you know kill two birds with one stone. Both of the links to their channels will be in the description below make sure you guys go subscribe to them show some love maybe let them know you came from this video. I enjoyed both of these stories <laughs> they both had me dead. Devontae didn't even want to get in a fight but he kind of did that to himself I'm not even gonna lie. I understand you know you're a kid and you could talk about someone's mom but not everybody is is cool about their moms being talked about me personally if someone talked about my mom we scrapping i don't care who you are you could be six foot six i'm gonna square up bro bro cody <laughs> bro cody is funny as man i love his humor i love his animations and i'm glad me and him are cool and i do plan on reacting to more of his videos so make sure you guys stay tuned for that yo so this is future editing huncho i just want to take the time to say happy birthday to cody i uh, hope you have a good one and uh yeah i enjoyed watching your video and who knows maybe we could work together in the future on maybe on a project for your channel or my channel or hell maybe even both but uh yeah just wanted to say this in the video so uh yeah hope you have a good one man <laughs> i can't even talk bro these were some crazy ass stories man and since we're about nearing the end of the video i want to take this time to shout out my merch if you go to the description below you'll see a link to my huncho joshi store all my store have very high quality shirts hoodies phone cases and more so go cop some heat today and if you do cop some heat make sure you guys take a picture in it send it to me on my social media to be shouted out in the next video make sure you guys like comment share to support your boy subscribe if you're new to this channel and if you are new check out all my other series and don't forget to hit the bell to be alarmed whenever a new banger is out. I'm your host, Tanja Joshi, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, love y'all, stay clean, and I'll see y'all soon.